Hi, hello. Welcome to Ruka Joe Presents. A channel of education and learning English with Mr. J. Of the Ruka Joe Presents. Well genius learners, in this video we are gonna be talking about in photosynthesis as an example of explanation text. A teaching material for grade 12 students in the emergency curriculum 2022-2023. Please listen carefully to the speaker and try to understand by answering the questions. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants, algae, and some bacteria convert light energy into chemical energy in the form of glucose, sugar. This process plays a vital role in the lives of all living organisms, as it provides the primary source of energy for virtually all food webs and sustains the oxygen levels in our atmosphere. The process of photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplasts of plant cells and involves the absorption of light by pigments, such as chlorophyll. Chlorophyll absorbs light in the red and blue parts of the spectrum, reflecting green light, which is why leaves appear green. In addition to chlorophyll, other pigments, such as carotenes and phycobiolins, also play a role in photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, the absorbed light energy is used to split water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen, with the hydrogen ions then being used to power the production of glucose from carbon dioxide. This reaction takes place in the thylakoid membranes of the chloroplasts and is driven by the transfer of electrons from water to carbon dioxide. The oxygen released during this process is a byproduct and is released into the air. The glucose produced through photosynthesis serves as an energy source for the plant, while the oxygen is used in cellular respiration by the plant and other organisms to release energy. The overall equation for photosynthesis can be represented as 6 CO2 plus 6 H2O plus light energy equals C6 H1 2O6 plus 6 O2. In summary, Photosynthesis is a complex but essential process that converts light energy into chemical energy, providing the foundation for all life on Earth. Listen again to the highlight pointed about the process of photosynthesis before answering the questions. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants, algae, and some bacteria convert light energy into chemical energy in the form of glucose. Photosynthesis provides the primary source of energy for virtually all food webs and sustains the oxygen levels in our atmosphere, playing a vital role in the lives of all living organisms. The process of photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplasts of plant cells. The process of photosynthesis involves the absorption of light by pigments, such as chlorophyll, and the conversion of light energy into chemical energy in the form of glucose. The pigments involved in photosynthesis include chlorophyll, carotenes, and phycobiolins. Chlorophyll absorbs light in the red and blue parts of the spectrum and reflects green light, playing a key role in the process of photosynthesis. The absorbed light energy is used to split water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen, with the hydrogen ions then being used to power the production of glucose from carbon dioxide. The reaction to produce glucose from carbon dioxide takes place in the thylakoid membranes of the chloroplasts. The production of glucose from carbon dioxide during photosynthesis is driven by the transfer of electrons from water to carbon dioxide. Oxygen is released into the air as a byproduct of photosynthesis. The glucose produced through photosynthesis serves as an energy source for the plant. The oxygen produced during photosynthesis is used in cellular respiration by the plant and other organisms to release energy. The equation for photosynthesis is 6 CO2 plus 6 H2O plus light energy equals C6 H1 2O6 plus 6 O2. Photosynthesis is described as a complex but essential process that converts light energy into chemical energy providing the foundation for all life on Earth. 
Photosynthesis is important because it provides the primary source of energy for virtually all food webs and sustains the oxygen levels in our atmosphere, playing a vital role in the lives of all living organisms. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. You may share this video with others to help them understand English better.